Hi, it's Matt here with the Veercast live streaming platform, and today we're going to go over how to create a basic clip within the platform. If you're here already, then you know that uh, we have all offer a extensive knowledge base that you see here, uh, which can give you any information on how to do things within the platform, whether you're live streaming, whether you're uploading a, a simple video file, uh, creating a podcast, whatever it may be. Uh, you, that's where you're going to find the information, um, and you'll see it here on this page, support.veercast.com. Go there for any information you need, any tutorials that we create. If you don't find us on YouTube, you can find any of our videos and blog posts and information there. So today we're going to go over how to create a simple basic upload clip within the platform. So this is if you have an existing file and you'd like to upload it to the platform, this is the way you go about it. So just like any of our tutorials, we're going to start here in the top right over over the little avatar icon and click login. If you don't have an account, you can register through Google or Facebook uh, or create one manually if you don't have either of those accounts. So I'm going to start with a basic account here. I've got already pre-set up. I'm going to log into the platform, and it takes me to this page. So for this tutorial, we'll go over other things in other tutorials, but in this this specific tutorial, we're going over clips. So I'm going to click click on the clip icon. So it, uh, again, we're doing an upload clip here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the new, and then. An upload clip is basically a standard clip is what it's called. So it's going to be the basic standard clip that we're going to create. You see below that we have a lot of different options. Um, you can stream live. You can uh, encode from um, YouTube. Uh, you can embed a third-party CD in if you want. And we'll go over those in other tutorials. But for this purpose, we're going to stick with the standard clip. Click on that. And this takes us to the title. Uh, so we want to enter the title of our clip. I'm just going to say test clip upload. Hit continue. This will bring us to the properties tab where we can complete all the information that we want to show up on the front end of the website. The first thing I like to do is hit active. This will make it active on the front end of the website so people can actually view it. There's a lot of options here, but mostly people will leave them as default. Um, <clears throat> we'll go over them in more detail in other tutorials as well. But in this uh, section here, we're going to enter a quick description. Okay, here's our quick description. We can add keywords if we like. I'm just going to add some default ones I've had in there from the past. We can upload our own thumbnail if we want. Um, so right now the default is the Veercast thumbnail, but you can upload your own. So if we just click choose the file, I just select any file here and click on that. It'll show a little preview icon of it here. But once we hit save, it should show up in the top right here and replace that Veercast image. So now our clip is showing on the front end of the website, but we still haven't uploaded our file yet. So we're going to go to the next tab, which is the media tab. And you'll see here we have several different options. If we want to upload multiple qualities, we can do that. I'm just going to stick with a basic 1080 clip. Uh, I'm going to browse for one here. Let's see what I can find. Just something simple like this. I'm going to upload that. It'll take just a few seconds to upload, and there's the upload complete. You'll see the file is there. So we'll hit save one more time. And now we should have our clip showing on the front end of the website. You can see our max file size here. So if you have something larger than that, we have other options as far as uh, clip types to use if it's above uh, that 3 gig gigabyte file size. Um, but most files are going to be smaller than that. And if they're not, there's other ways to render them out before you upload. So there are other options here on the top right, but that's going to be for different tutorials we'll go over in more depth. Right now we're just creating this clip to show you how to get it on the website and get your existing files on there. So let's look at the front end of the website, and we should see our file there. Here it is, test upload clip, showing up as the number one on our slideshow. It's also down here under latest videos. So we click on that. Let's see, it pulls up the file that we uploaded. So it's as simple as that to get your file on the website. And as you scroll down the page here, you can see there's options. There's the keywords that we put in. Um, you can have people leave comments. You can also disable that if you'd like. If you hit the share icon here, you can have embed code that you can send uh, and, and actually embed the broadcast or your upload onto your third-party website. And it also shows the direct link. You can also share on social media, just like many of the other platforms out there. Um, 
This VeerCast logo does show up here as default, but you do have the option. We'll go over that again on another tutorial on how to change that out to your own logo to make your own branding. Uh, this has been a VeerCast tutorial. If you have any questions, please email us at veercastinfo at veercast.com. Please like and subscribe to watch more tutorials um, because we're going to be uploading these pretty frequently uh, as we release features on the platform. And VeerCast has been partnership with our main platform, Live Sportscaster, for a very long time. We opened up VeerCast because we want to give people an option to do things other than just sports, and that's what VeerCast is for. It's the exact same platform. It just gives you a different avenue instead of using the sports brand to have something general so you can do things like house of worship, um, we can broadcast to business conferences, whatever it may be. Info at veercast.com with any questions again. And also, as I said at the beginning of the video, visit our knowledge base for any questions you might have as well because a lot of those answers are already there. Thanks for watching.